Hi, in today's video I'm going to talk about the most common mistakes that are made while describing pictures. So if you are preparing for a speaking exam, this might be the right video for you. Before I start, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to be up to date with my English lessons. Okay, mistake number one is not using the right prepositions. On the photo, I can see four people. At the foreground, there is a young doctor. She's in the left and behind her, in the right, there are three other doctors. Remember, when you talk about what the photograph depicts, you should say in the photo, in the foreground, in the background, in the middle, in the corner, in the left corner, in the top left corner, but on the right, on the left. In the photo, I can see four people. In the foreground, there is a young doctor. She's on the left and behind her, on the right, there are three other doctors. Mistake number two. Not using the present continuous tense to describe actions. The children sit on the floor. They play. They both wear comfortable clothes. To describe actions, we always use present continuous. The children are sitting on the floor. Are sitting, action. They are playing. Are playing, action. They are both wearing comfortable clothes. Are wearing, action. The boy in the middle of the photo is laughing is laughing action but the present continuous tense is not the only tense that you can use while describing a photograph unfortunately some students make mistake number three which is using the present continuous tense to describe someone's appearance or to describe a state the woman is having red hair she is looking happy she is seeming to like her job. If you want to describe someone's appearance, you should use the present simple tense. The woman has red hair. She has a beautiful smile. Her eyes are pretty. You should also use present simple when using state verbs such as look, same, appear. She looks happy. She seems to like her job. She appears rather friendly. If you find the topic of state and action verbs a bit confusing, you can watch this video here. I'll put the link to that video in the description. Mistake number four is not expressing your opinion. Describing what you see in the photo is important, but saying how that photo makes you feel and what you think about it is equally important. Here are some useful phrases that can help you express your opinion. I like this photo, I don't like this photo, it makes me feel, it reminds me of, in my opinion, I think, I believe, I suppose, I'm not sure. I don't like this picture because I don't like it when people shout at each other. This photograph makes me feel uncomfortable. I suppose the man and the woman who are being shouted at are very unhappy. So these are some common mistakes that students make when they describe photographs. And now let's move on to a short exercise. Look at the photo and read the photo description. Find and correct the mistakes. If you'd like to practice describing photos, I suggest you watch these videos. I'll include links in the description. If you haven't already, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to be up to date with my English lessons. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!